Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Video Updates. If you don't know me, I'm Rakesh Negi and I'm an aviation enthusiast. In today's session, I'm going to discuss about the locations of antennas in Airbus A320 aircraft. So let's start. Antenna locations. Sometimes it becomes very much important to know the locations of the antennas whenever especially you are standing outside the aircraft and you want to identify which antenna is near to you, right? Let's start friends. I'm just drawing a simple diagram which represents Airbus A320, okay? So friends, I'm just drawing a side view of the aircraft, okay, to show you the antenna locations. So let's first start with the navigation antenna, that is GPS antenna. So remember that friends, GPS is one of the most important system in the aircraft. It provides the position of the aircraft and to provide the position of the aircraft, one of the most important thing is the aircraft antenna should be there. So I'm just going to tell you about the location of the GPS antenna. It is present here. In the top section that is in the nose section here okay so this is the location of GPS 1 antenna okay friends and this is applicable for the aircraft having MMR that is the multi mode receivers okay next there is one more antenna that is for the GPS 2 antenna the GPS 2 antenna is here at this location GPS Two antenna and that is when there will be multi-mode receiver 2 okay so the aircraft in which multi-mode receivers are there 1 and 2 their antenna locations are here GPS 1 and GPS 2 also the GPS antenna can be here okay GPS 1 and this GPS 2 okay I'll just draw a triangle over here and I'll put a star mark over here like this okay so this means that these are optional locations of the antenna this can vary with the MSN numbers okay so some MSN numbers may have GPS antenna here some MSN numbers may have GPS antenna in these locations okay so for these also I can draw star mark over here like this okay so this triangle with star mark means that these are the optional location of the antenna and can vary with the msn numbers of airbus 320 msn numbers or family okay so friends this is about the gps antenna locations next at the frontmost part there is a nose section okay you must be very much curious to know about which antenna will be there at the most forward okay so here at the most forward we can say lion rolls so why i'm saying like this friends say the nose roars the initial letter of the word roar is R. Okay, so in the nose, the antenna which is there is radar antenna. R A D A R, radar. Okay, so radar antenna is present in the radome. Okay, in the nose section. So this is the position of the radar antenna. Next, in the nose section also, we have localizer antenna and one glide slope antenna. Okay, in Airbus 320. So this is the localizer antenna. And this one, this dot, okay, is showing you the location of glide slope antenna. Okay, friends. Now, friends, I'll just tell you some acronyms through which you can remember the location of the antennas. Not all, but some. Like, like if your father is working in LG, okay, and he is a technical manager, then you can form the acronym as LG Dad TM. TM okay LG is the name of company right so LG dad TM is the technical dad is the technical measure so you can remember the antenna locations using this acronym in LG dad is technical manager and so this is the acronym which has been framed by me and you can use this technique to remember the locations of few of the antennas like LG is L is the localizer then G is the glide slope okay now D D is the DME one so DME one antenna is here okay so the next antenna which starts from the nose section is the DME antenna. So this is DME1 antenna here. Okay. Next is A. A is the ATC antenna is here. ATC antenna. 
okay so one atc antenna is here and one more atc antenna is here which will be on the top okay atc this is the mode s this is for mode s again this would vary in some sn numbers so i'll put a star mark here okay so now we are going with this flow da so d is for dme1 antenna a is for atc antenna so next antenna after dme is the atc antenna what will be the next here it is dme2 antenna as written here dad this d means dme2 dme2 antenna so lg dad lg dad okay next is tm tm is the technical manager so you can remember this as tcas and marker beacon okay so this t is for the tcas so i'll write here tcas antenna location is here okay traffic collision avoidance system dme is distance measuring equipment and atc is air traffic control right so tcas one antenna is on bottom one is on top here tcas tcas okay so these positions of for the tcas antenna may vary in msn numbers so i'll put a triangle with a star mark over here and for this as well for both of the tcas antennas next is m m is the marker beacon so marker beacon antenna is here i am writing the short form mkrbn there is a marker beacon antenna so friends on the bottom part starting from the nose you can see lg dad tm that is lg dad tm lg dad as technical measure you can remember this as acronym and these are the antennas which are present in the bottom part of the fuselage starting from the nose okay so friends i hope you are clear with some of these antennas now friends for communication in the aircraft we know well we have vhf and hf systems so in airbus 320 there are three vhf systems and two hf systems since there are three vhf systems we will be having three vhf antennas and since there are two hf systems we will be having two hf antennas right so what is the location so for the vhf communication system as letter v is there so you should know in the v there is one top terminal bottom terminal and top terminal so likewise okay this is how i remember and you can also use this way to remember the location of the vhf communication antennas vhf1 antenna will be on top vhf2 will be below the fuselage and vhf3 again will be on top of the fuselage so vhf1 antenna is here the location of vhf1 antenna vhf1 so friends i hope you will remember vhf1 antenna is on top so for the letter v the top terminal is this one that means top of the fuselage okay now the bottom terminal of this v letter represents the bottom part of the fuselage so vhf2 antenna is here there is the vhf2 that is for the vhf2 communication and vhf3 it is here for vhf3 friends this again is optional so i am putting a uh, star mark with triangle so friends as we are discussing about the vhf and hf antenna so let's discuss the satcom antenna as well so the satcom antenna is on top of the fuselage as for the satellite communication the communication is via the satellite so for the signals of satellite to be received from top that is from the sky to the aircraft the antenna location is mounted on top of the fuselage okay you can remember it that way so the location of the satcom antenna is here okay on top of the fuselage so this is the location of satcom antenna okay this one so this is i'm just drawing a zigzag line to show you the location of satcom antenna okay again this is optional feature this may vary with the various msn numbers it may be there it may not be there okay next about the hf antenna hf is the high frequency antenna how will you remember friends the location of hf antenna just see the word high frequency okay high means you can consider high to be as on top okay so high frequency antenna will be on top of the fuselage but in which location here in the vertical fin okay so it is flushed in the vertical fin both one and two antennas okay so this is the location of hf one and two antenna one and two antennas okay friends so can you see the hf antenna yes but it is flushed inside the vertical fin in this section okay again friends i'll put a star mark over here with this triangle to tell you that this is again optional it can vary with various msn numbers okay now let's discuss about some emergency related antenna that is the elt that is emergency locator transmitter you must have studied friends 
that the emergency locator transmitter ELT antenna should be mounted as aft as practicable okay and yes it is mounted in Airbus C20 the ELT antenna is located here okay so this is the location of ELT antenna that is at the aft section of the fuselage okay now this antenna is position is optional it can vary slightly okay with various MSN numbers depending on the length of fuselage now friends let's discuss about the antennas which give you the bearing information like the VR system and ADF systems for VR system the VR antenna is mounted on top of the vertical fin here in this area so this is the location of the antenna where VR antennas are mounted in Airbus A320 and both the VR antennas are mounted in this location for both VR1 and VR2 okay and what about the other system which provides bearing that is ADF for the ADF antenna the locations are here and here okay this is the location of ADF 1 antenna and this is the location of ADF 2 antenna okay and again uh, these position may vary with the different MSN numbers of 320 so I'm putting a triangle with star mark as like for the other antennas I did and friends if you are studying in detail about the locations of antenna or about the number of ADF systems in a certain MSN number of 320 then you may come to know that in some MSN numbers of Airbus 320 there is only one ADF system so in that case only one ADF antenna may be there and the other may not be there next uh, in a generic Airbus A320 there is an antenna by the name TWLU whose location is here okay this, this is the location of TWLU antenna okay now what is this TWLU TWLU stands for terminal wireless LAN unit so friends there is a provision that you can even use the LAN at the terminal area and for receiving that signals this is the antenna which is there in the aircraft in the MSN numbers which we currently use in our country this TWLU antenna may not be there okay friends so again this is an optional feature so I am drawing a triangle with a star mark okay now friends let's discuss about the radio altimeter antenna locations as like in any other plane you must have seen the radio altimeter antenna always located at the bottom of the fuselage and in the aft section so there will be two radio altimeter system antennas this one and this one these two antenna are the location of radio altimeter transmitter and receiver okay what are these these two is RA1 RA1 is the radio altimeter 1 okay so these are the locations of radio altimeter system number 1 antenna and this one and this one okay somewhere here next to the radio altimeter system 1 antenna we have radio altimeter system 2 antennas for transmitter and receiver so I am writing here as RA2 okay so friends I hope you are clear with RA1 and RA2 RA1 is the radio altimeter system 1 and RA2 is the radio altimeter system 2 so the antenna locations for the radio altimeters are here okay so you must be knowing that the radio altimeter antenna they receive signals which are in the UHF band so friends this is all about the antenna locations in Airbus A320 aircraft I hope uh, you enjoyed learning this topic I'll come up again with a new topic in my next session till then enjoy learning the topic and thank you